there may be some situations where you need to transpose your loop and tune it, you know, a whole note rather than just some fine tuning. We're looking at some pretty extreme tunings here. Whether it's two notes, three or a whole octave, you might actually want to do that with one of your grooves. So as with anything else in Dr. Octorex, there's generally one or two ways to do things. And here there's a couple of ways. So let's look at both of those now. We've got the same fill sound as we had in the last video, and I'm going to show you transposing it using the loop transpose encoder just here. Now you could see when I changed this, there was a display showing me exactly how many notes I've transposed it. There you go. It's like one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and minus figures as well. So it gives you quite a clear representation of exactly where you're transposing it to. If you noticed, this display here, which is a mini keyboard, also changed as I changed this transpose function. And it gives you a visual representation of exactly where it is on the keyboard. This isn't just a visual uh, feedback display, this is also something you can select using your mouse. So you can transpose things in this fashion. Some of you may find this easier, some of you may prefer the encoder, it's really up to you. One thing to note here is that when you're using very extreme transpose settings, either positive or negative, your loop will stay in time, but each slice will be changed in pitch. So in the way that it does in a traditional sampler, it will slow down. So Although the grid is staying in place and the drum sounds will be triggered in the, at the same time and therefore stay in time with your project, you'll find that the individual slices may sound a little sluggish and a little low. So let's hear that now and I'll play back this same loop and we'll transpose it, you know, 12 notes. So we were fine up until about minus four, minus five, and you can really get some interesting tonal effects, but beyond that, it becomes a little bit unmusical and more like an effect. As long as you're aware of this, it's fine and you can, you can do exactly what you want. The same when we're transposing upwards, you'll find that things become a little bit quick and some of the individual sounds will be very short in nature. But let's have a listen to some more subtle changes and you'll see that we can really fine tune the pitch and timbre of the sound without destroying it. So there you go, a nice way to tune your percussion sounds to get them in tune with your project or just simply change the mood and the timbre of your individual loops. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the slice based parameters along the bottom edge of the sample display window and see what they do and how we can use them. <laughs> 